Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Today we have got another Sim Lab project. I am calling this the Loop. Now I used the spring to build this, and here are the rules. You can change the size of the ball, which I'll show you is up here. Make it smaller or larger. You can also change the height of the drop. For an official win, nothing else can be changed. If you complete a full loop or more, make sure you record a video of the project. And of course, you can track me down looking for HL Mod Tech. So here's the way the project works. When you switch to SimLab, it takes a moment for the loop to become ready to play with. And then of course, we need to make sure that we make it static. The little sign I had, needs to be made static as well and then let's zoom out a little bit and when you hit play the ball comes down and starts around the loop now the goal is to get it to go all the way around you can change the material so right now I'm gonna reset it and let's go back here to where we were and this ball was steel test it with rubber change the size have fun so friends the idea is this is a challenge for all of us to see who can be the first to make it do a full loop once again without changing anything but the size of the ball the material of the ball and maybe the height from which you drop you are not allowed to change the loop but you can change the material of the loop as you try to find success once again when you hit play of course you've got the video of the results Spacebar pauses that and then if you do have success make sure you hit the share button and record it as a video so that we can all see what you did don't forget you can right click your mouse and hold shift and drag it so you get the exact right view of the project I am not gonna create the video since that was a failure but you may have failures that are fun to watch as you try and solve this and it'd be cool to see those on all sorts of social media as well if you do choose to make modifications to the original course that is awesome as well they just will not count as an official win but who knows you may be able to come up with a better course than what i've got right here friends remember when you click on the challenge of course there will be a tutorial and of course friends don't forget the golden rule of tinkercad give a reaction before you copy if this is your first time seeing the sim lab don't forget i have a bunch of tutorials if you visit hlmodtech.com there is a tinkercad tab and if you scroll down you'll find the hl mod tech profile when it first launches you'll see all of my projects sorted by likes don't forget when you click on them you will always find a tutorial in the description when you click over here it'll cancel them out if you instead switch to sorting by recent you will see all of my new sim lab tutorials that'll help you be successful as you try these awesome projects finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day